Welcome to Spicy Toast Gaming. Thank you for tuning in to another Spicy Toast video, and today's video is going to be a build video for Annie. So we're going to showcase a build, we're going to take it through a uh, Galio adventure and see how we do. So, going to be playing Annie, thought we would kick it back to some of the older champions, uh, since a lot of people are just putting out content on the um, new champions. So, with Annie, we are going to be running what I like to call Abomination Annie. So, we have Corrupted Star Fragment, Kill My Supported Ally, Grant Me Its Stats and Keywords, The Berserker's Buckle, When I Survive Damage, Grant Me 2-2, and Voidborn Carapace, When Any Unit Dies, Grant Me Its Keywords. So, we wanted to go with Annie because we're a nice um, one drop, and then we also have good removal as well as um, control to make sure that the game stays in our favor. So throughout the entire match we're just going to be trying to get as many stats and keywords on Annie and using her to just destroy the enemy nexus. So let's see how we're able to do. If you enjoy these sorts of videos definitely like and subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. All right, nothing really crazy here. The Duelist, we would be able to make this permanent, um, at least on Annie, because she could just consume someone and then have that permanently, but we're gonna re-roll here. These are all fine. Um, starting off with Overwhelm will actually be fairly decent as um, <laughs> We don't really have any units that Annie can take Overwhelm from early on in the game. So making sure that she can actually use her damage throughout the whole game will be pretty nice. So we don't right now have any way to uh, mitigate our mana consumption. So with the fleeting spells we're generating... Um, we're just going to have to use our normal mana for that, as we don't have an Archangel Staff. Alright, since we have the attack token, I'll get the Legion Saboteur. So Annie will get that uh, quick attack. We need to try to power up Annie as fast as possible so that she hopefully won't get taken out um, with a, a single combat. Oh, there it probably is. Yep. Alright, we'll use a disintegrate just to make sure we get rid of their unit. We'll use a Guile here just to make sure they can't attack with their unit. Alright, so since they're not going under that um, two mana threshold, that kind of worries me that they have another single combat. So now that they have the two spell mana, they're pretty much always going to be able to play that single combat if they want to, which isn't great. So right now we're going to work on getting that unit off the board. So we wait as long as we can. We'll now bring on Annie and just hope they don't have another single combat. Okay. 
All right, so we should be good. We'll just try to see how much damage we can do this round. It'll be really nice if we could kill um, the scout unit once we have Annie, if she's on board. So normally I would stun their scout unit, but I actually want to try to kill it. Although honestly, no units that I have are actually strong enough to kill it, unfortunately. So yeah, we'll stun it for now. Sadly, our Annie is still a little bit too weak to be able to block. So, right now, I'm just really hoping they don't have a single combat. So, we're going to get rid of their um, spell shield so that when Annie attacks, they won't be able to... They won't be able to block with that unit, and Annie's um, attack will still go through. We want the spell shield and stats on Annie, that's why we're killing the Mana Soul student. was decent not uh, too great our Annie did get taken out there in the beginning so that kind of really stopped our scaling sure that should be fun all right support champions can we get some good keywords so augment Hmm. Nothing too great, but I don't necessarily want to use up all of our rerolls immediately. I'll use one more. So he has Fury, so that's not bad. Challenger. Man, this is really just not the best for what we are wanting to do. I think we'll go with the uh, Tom Kench. All right, we'll go for the shop. Huh. Does Ephemeral get absorbed by the carapace because if that does that's going to be very <laughs> very bad hmm so hopefully it doesn't absorb ephemeral otherwise we are screwed <laughs> Yeah, we'll just stun this. Well, there goes pretty much their entire hand. Alright, 
So her attack's gonna do four damage, so it should be able to kill anything. They're just gonna block with her rider, most likely. Okay, good, we didn't get ephemeral. Uh... <laughs> We're not getting any cheap units. Uh, that sucks. We need to play cheap units so that we can attack with Annie and absorb them. This is going to hurt. So we'll play Tom Kench here since we can essentially play him for for free. So yeah, I'll go here. This is a lot of stats, and being able to damage Annie will help us out. Gonna play this just to more give them. Oh, they're just not gonna play anything. All right. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm gonna hold off and maybe use some disintegrates on uh, their cards. Get a nice amount of stats on Annie. We're going to use a Disintegrate, just so Annie doesn't take um, too much damage there. I think we're also going to use a Disintegrate on uh, the Poro, so it dies and Annie also gets the impact. I guess we could have Annie just eat Tibbers. <laughs> Alright, not too bad. Annie's now looking pretty meaty. Can definitely block presumably whatever they throw at us. Stunning Ephemerals is always a good idea, as it's essentially a death sentence. It's Mr. Kythera. It's Kythera, Annie. Hey, Alright, so they are now out of cards. I think that exact copy will also be stunned, right? Yes. Ah, uh, perfect. We're going to play the Pesty Spectre just so we can block. Alright, since they don't have any cards, we'll block with Annie. So many animations. Oh, I don't require a menu. Right, 
We'll just play tippers here. Just feel like there's something funny about Annie eating her own her own bear. Yeah, Legends of Runeterra definitely does need a faster mode to speed up all the animations. Alright, gain some more captive Greyvax, not bad. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, sure. So getting some of these exhausts will be pretty good. Vulnerable, very nice. But then getting some of those epic items on Annie, because those can roll with Scout or uh, Elusive. I guess I'll get one copy of this just so we get another unit with spell shield. So the good thing is we'll be able to get, um, or should be able to get elusive pretty early on Annie since we just have to kill one of their units as long as Annie's on the board. Let's see. All right, perfect. Annie. Let's go make some friends, Tippers. So we'll actually pass. I feel like they're probably going to play Zoe or their Charger. My Flutter friends are so pretty. I guess not. All right, what did we get? Eh, that's probably going to be useless because any supported ally is just going to die before that goes off. So sad. Very nice, able to kill uh, their Zoe. Alright, so far so good. Oh, that Crescent Strike. <sighs> I guess we'll go with this. I don't want to, I want, well, I wanted to build out my board um, potentially with the Mana Soul Student, but that Crescent Strike is just gonna counter us, so. We'll try to get a good amount of damage down. Pretty good. I think the next time we attack, we'll probably use some captive Greyvax. So 
we're going to try to take him out with Spellslinger. They might, yeah, buff that up twice. Yep. Well, that's not the best. Your aura is so blue. I'm gonna get bit. So, a little sad. Huh, well that's not great. Alright, definitely try to get rid of that with uh, Tom Kench. Perfect. So we're hoping that we can use Equinox and that's just going to get rid of his spell shield. So that way our Graybacks aren't going to get bothered. And it should be enough damage to, yep, end the game. So hopefully we can be able to get uh, some more champion nodes and really get Annie um, buffed up so she's not taken out of the game quite as fast. Ah, uh, that's tough. Rally Banner is very strong, but we also don't want Annie to ever die. <laughs> I think we're actually just going to go with the studded leather over the rally banner. Because, yeah, we don't want all these stats to be gone. Yeah, we're actually just going to go with the couple of stats. So, bouncing blades can be pretty good. Um especially for Annie, but we're trying to go more for a uh, tankier playstyle, so we're going to go with Endurance, doubling down on that. Uh, we'll go towards the Spells Chest, see if we can get something decent. Hopefully we can scale or outscale the Mist Wraiths. see how we do. I was kind of hoping they'd block there, but I guess it's good. Good Nexus damage. Definitely stunning that. They're probably going to attack with both, which will be sad. Yeah, so we don't get any chance to play some of our other other cards. There's magic, and then there's me. I am unfinished. Whoa, I can see the magic. Yeah. 
So yeah, we'll stun the one that has the five health, as that one won't be able to die to Annie's um, attack. We need to try to end the game probably on our next attack before before they get out of hand. So we're going to try to kill this um, one that's been able to scale up um, higher. Goodness. Wow, we're actually able to scare them into not attacking. Alright, I think I'm actually gonna play this a little slower, try to stun a unit, and then get the graybacks out there. Grab all these stats on Annie, and then just attack with everything. <laughs> Need to make sure we win in this uh, attack. Mist wraith, mist wraiths kind of scale out of control if you let the game go on too long. Okay, Plunder Poro could be pretty good um, if we can get Plunder off and get him to give us um, some good keywords for Annie. That would be very nice. I think we're actually going to do possession. That way we can steal a follower and then kill it with Annie with her attack. The star fragment. All right, let's see if we can get a decent power. Hmm. All right, so we have a shop up there. That's a trick you can do if you want to see two ahead. You can say you want to leave, but then you'll still be able to um, go back and buy a power. So yeah, we'll just go for the flexible game plan and save our reroll for the next one. Yeah, nothing really worth getting here. Yeah, this looks all right. Uh. 
Well, I'm just gonna stun that because I don't want to immediately play Annie and then have it get challenged and killed. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. All right, elusive. Not bad. Explosive prime. Now they see who I truly am. Oh, oh, I want to play. So we do actually, even though we could get the elusive tack off. We want to kill the Star Shepherd. That's one thing you always want to do against Star Grazer, as if you don't, this can start scaling out of control and really be a problem. And we'll play Poro. Elusive and Overwhelm. Kind of redundant since that's what we already have. We're really not getting the best of luck. We will get that Augment though. That'll actually be good. Didn't notice that before. Blended in with the other icon. Play the Tom Kench for free. Anything I can do to help Ladari? Mind your feet. Play the Kroger to help Annie scale up. I feel better when you feel better. Where are you, spirit? Alright, so we're just gonna attack with this and we'll save the rest for being able to block. Oh, I guess this one has Elusive. All right, so we're gonna stun it to pop its spell shield. Good. Didn't realize we had so many gray brat gray backs. What wisdom do you bring from your journey, grandfather? None are lost when there are stars to follow. In service to the Imperial. All right, we'll pop his spell shield, then also stun him. I wanna play game of hide and we don't want that to be able to kill any of our units, especially because they could drag any aside. But they're too scared to attack. Perfect. Very nice. Let's go make some more friends. All right, let's see what we get from that uh, that shop. More copies of Annie, Crystal Carrier, she should be on the entire time on the board, so that would actually be very nice. Yeah, I guess it's fine. 
going to give us just a bit more time to um, scale up. I think we're actually going to get rid of the gray backs. It's a little, a little too expensive. Our other four drop is being a lot better for us. Uh, yeah, this is this is pretty good. So the one issue is that Annie's not starting out with spell shield, and. <laughs> It's Viego, he has a lot of just kill spells, so that could really be a problem. Focusing crystal, not bad. Alright, this will be good. Now that he's at four mana, he might just use very. Oh, there it is. There's the vengeance. Uh, sad. The good thing is, it granted the item, so all of the versions of Annie are still going to have the uh, crystal carrier. It's Kythera, Annie. Hey, Tibbers. I am a bit worried. Alright, so I'm going to consume the House Spider. Getting the tough on Annie would be nice, but I don't want to consume some of the bigger units when they might just use Vengeance on Annie. <laughs> Yep, there it is. That's what I figured. <laughs> uh, the Annie voice lines are always adorable. Alright, so that will damage Annie, but she'll get stronger because of it. Hmm. I think I'll go with the Spell Slinger since his usefulness is kind of over. Yeah, I'll go with that. Let's get rid of that spell shield. And let's see what we get with the Plunder Poro. Regen and Impact, not bad. So again, I'm just going to consume one of the um, weaker units. I'm not really worried about the Poro as um, when he dies and he's going to get those keywords anyways. So actually I'll put him first. Yeah, we'll attack like this, hoping we can kill them this round, but probably not. 
It's also better to open attack here if we uh, give him the chance to react. He has some kill spells that are slow, and we don't want that to happen. <laughs> like <laughs> this right here. Nice. Alright, that wasn't too bad. And he got vengeance a couple times, but... It's alright. Alright, let's see if we get a good champion item. Spell shield. Pretty nice. That way we can be a bit safer with our Annie. We're not as worried. Feral Prescience. It's fine, but it's not really going to synergize with us too much, so we're going to... Wild Inspiration. This will actually be very nice. Alright, Smooth Soloist. Spells Chest. Let's go for the Soloist. Definitely need some more better powers. Alright, I'm going to count on us drawing <laughs> Annie, because this is a decent opening hand. Nice. Just a little something I like to call fun. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Calm mind and open heart, greet the night. So yeah, now our guile is zero cost, which is pretty awesome. When others threaten, we must take action. Uh, we'll give him exhaust. We don't want him killing any. What do we get? All right, crystal carrier again. That's not too bad. We can get um, hallowed stacking up. We're gonna not stun the dogs because we want them to block with them so we can kill them. <laughs> Alright, let's get our spell shield back. So, a little sad they didn't want to block with anything. But our Annie is now pretty big, so we'll be able to uh, block with her. Alright, we'll kill this one and this one. That's probably all we can really do. Let's kill their scary, starry scamp. We don't want them to keep getting those extra mana gems. It's also pretty good that they have the serpent, because now all the items are going on the serpent. Which is just going to get stunned instead of going onto the um, the messenger, which they're going to have a ton of.
Alright, we're gonna try to get our tippers to come out and deal with some of their units. Should have enough damage to end the game right here. Yeah. Okay, some more house fighters. Not terrible. Smooth soloist. Hopefully we get something good here. Yep, sorcery is pretty good. I will try to get a... Uh, we only have enough for a common power. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just think this would be kind of funny. Get a couple of these, throw one on Annie. Make her actually immortal. Alright, so we'll have a lot more freedom to play our um, spells, and Annie should be able to scale up pretty well. Yeah, that should be good. Perfect, we got unyielding in the first round. Come on, Dippers. It's playtime. Uh, I bet they're going to attack with the one person that might have spell shield. We'll try to see if we can get them all popped here though. Oh, elusive. Yeah, this is fine. Man, and he takes so long to attack sometimes. Alright, we'll play Tom Catch for free. Fortune Croaker. We'll let Tom just devour <laughs> their Dawn Speakers one by one. And we'll do the stun just to um, help Annie level up since it's free. We can probably do some fun things with timber tippers here. Come on, play something. Man. I never want to play anything, it's so lame. Oh, now you do. Alright, so we should just be able to open attack here and win. Well, 
Well, the build's working out pretty well now. <laughs> what a commendable achievement. All right, time for Galio and Malphite. That'll be fun. Yeah, Death's Hand. Casting that over and over again will be pretty great if we get lucky. I think we'll get rid of the Prefect. I don't think we've seen that Shadow Isle spell come up once. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Because it could be really fun. Oh, there we go. Um, I think we'll get rid of Boctopus. Holding on to the rest will be pretty decent. Oof. Man. Still no Annie. That's rough. <laughs> All right, hopefully we get Annie next turn. Oh. Well, that's a little sad, but I guess we'll use an exhaust here. See if we can get a decent item. Eh. Well, this unit's about to get obliterated by the rockfall path. A little sad, but. So, a little sad we're not seeing Annie here, especially because we kind of need her to be the one scaling up throughout the whole game. Yeah, we'll just get rid of that. Oof, lifesteal and impact, that would be nice to have on Annie. No one's the wiser. Yeah, we'll probably still be fine, but a bit unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to do something cheesy. I'm going to give Tom Kench essentially immortality. That way he can just keep capturing anything. So this should work, right? Yeah, perfect. So yeah, now Tom Kench will just be able to slowly devour everyone. Oh wait, let's play the opulent foyer. All 
Alright, they're gonna play Galio or something. Oh, the Stone Breaker. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be silly. I mean, I do really like Tom, so this is still fun. Still kind of crazy we haven't drawn Annie, considering we probably have like six copies of her. Let's get rid of the uh, landmark. I've never seen a doll with an aura. His name is Tippet, and he's not just a doll. <laughs> I wonder what happens if Annie tries to eat Tom. So she just gets all of his stats, and then he's fine. Well, that's an awesome little combo. And that's kind of hilarious, but sweet. <laughs> he's silencing his own unit so it can block. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, that turned out differently than I expected. Alright, so that was the Abomination Annie build. Uh, I definitely think it's going to be... Obviously not as good as a more traditional Annie build. Uh, either just going with like a Ludens and a Archangels. Or going for something more like the Chase Guns. That's why I got this time here. Went with Annie with... Uh, Ludin or you know Gale Force and double chase guns. So not quite as consistent, but a very interesting time. If you get slightly lucky and get some of the uh, other keyword powers, such as evolution, one one for every keyword, um, or sharing is caring, um, the welcome gifts. Every time you summon a unit, they get a random keyword. Any of those and your Annie would be just scaling even crazier out of control. Um, fun little play style though. I hope you guys liked that video and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching that video all the way to the end. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you enjoy our content, please like and subscribe. We're putting out daily videos covering everything Path of Champions. Hope you guys have a great new year.